This is also a time to really hear um, the themes of what young people are telling us. So this need to have the connection to work um, doesn't mean that they can't do academic work, but what it does mean um, is the choices that some of our most vulnerable students need to make at a time of great societal disequilibrium, um, we need to take it seriously. We need to take engagement seriously, not just is it fun to do, but help me see the connection between these this math credit that you're asking me to get and what it is that I want to do or what I want to explore. And I think that there are ways of doing both without kind of, you know, relinquishing any of the academic standards um, that any of us would want for our own children, including me. I think that this is a great time um, to hear from students themselves uh, what their drivers are. And I will tell you that when we surveyed students, a lot of what they wanted um, was very similar. They wanted, you know, in a large urban school system to have more choices of world language. They wanted more access um, to pathways that would get them to advance math. They wanted more connections to real industry certifications. They want to be able to leave high school and actually get a job that's paying um, a, a, not just a family sustaining wage immediately, but something that they know will lead to that. So when we asked young people, um, they didn't come up with frivolous responses. Um, they actually came up with a lot of the same things that research say um, that research says makes a difference. And so I just want to encourage us all um, to really ask young people and for those things where there's a match those are things that um, will actually get more momentum behind if they're if they're areas that match what young people themselves have articulated.